Hi there, my name is Kamen Sharmonjev and I'm a Senior Specialist Solutions Architect with AWS. Today I want to show you how to copy data from Salesforce into Amazon Simple Storage Service with Amazon Upflow. Amazon Upflow is a fully managed integration service that helps you securely transfer data between software as a service applications such as Salesforce, SAP, Google Analytics, Facebook Ads, ServiceNow and many others and AWS services such as Amazon Simple Storage Service and Amazon Redshift with just a few clicks and without writing any code. Here is the reference architecture of what we're going to build today. We will use Amazon Upflow to connect to our Salesforce instance and securely transfer data such as leads, accounts and opportunities into Amazon S3. Now join me on the AWS console and let's build the solution. Here we are on the AWS console where you can find Amazon Upflow under the application integration group. In order for Upflow to work, there are two constructs that we need to build. The first one is called a connection, and this is the physical connection between the Amazon Upflow service and your SaaS application. So we will choose a connector Salesforce and we will create a new connection. We will give the connection a name and we will click connect. Amazon Upflow will launch a dialog and ask us to log in into our Salesforce application and to allow the Amazon Upflow embedded login application to be installed so that Upflow can securely connect and communicate with our Salesforce instance. Now that we have our connection created, let's create our first flow. From the left menu, navigate to flows and click create flow. Give the flow a name, click next. Select your source of data, which is Salesforce, and then select the connection that we just created. Now with Salesforce, you can ingest either objects or events. For our use case, we're gonna ingest objects so that we're gonna select an account object. As a destination, let's choose Amazon S3. And for the purpose of this demonstration, I have already created an S3 bucket, which I'm gonna select. When transferring Salesforce object with Amazon Upflow, you have two options to trigger your flow. Run on demand means that we will need to trigger this flow manually through the AWS console via an API call or an SDK. Run flow on schedule means we can configure a flow to run on a regular time interval and bring data in. We're gonna run our flow on demand and on the next screen, we need to select the source and destination field mapping. In this step, we need to select what fields from our account object we want to bring into Amazon S3. And because Amazon S3 is a skimless destination, we can opt in and choose map all fields directly, which will create a one-to-one -one mapping. I'm not gonna create any partitioning, aggregations or validations, nor I'm gonna add any filters into my setup. This is everything that we need to do. The last step is just a preview and then we need to create our flow. And because this flow is an on-demand flow, we will manually have to run it through the AWS console by clicking the run flow button. And as you can see, in less than six seconds, Upflow was able to connect to our Salesforce instance and bring in 16 records from our instance into Amazon S3. Now, if we go to our Amazon S3 destination, we can see that we have a folder and inside this folder we have one file. Amazon Upflow implements incremental query model, which means it will bring data in pages if the, our data set is large. That means that by default, if you don't use any aggregations, Upflow will bring the data into several different files. And because our Salesforce data was relatively small, Upflow was able to write all this data into a single S3 object. Now, we can choose to preview our data by using S3 select. So I will select our object and I will click query with S3 select. By default, Upflow will bring the data in JSON format. It is a JSON lines and we will run a select star from S3 object query. And as you can see, we have our data visualized here. 
Thank you for joining me for this five minutes demonstration of how you can bring data from Salesforce into Amazon Simple Storage Service using a fully managed no-code service called Amazon AppFlow.